Okay, this will be interesting. It's something iconic. Uh, maybe not an iconic version, but an iconic name. We'll soon find out what this is. It's something I wouldn't normally buy. And when I was a kid, I hated them. I fucking hated them when my parents gave them to me. We'll soon find out. Normally girls like them, but sometimes boys do, but not or not often as girls without being sexist folks <laughs> see what we can do with it going all the way with that Okay, let's see what it is. It is some kind of Barbie doll. It's a Barbie doll shaped like a, it's a mermaid, mermaid Barbie doll. And that's interesting. It's articulated along there and she f moves around a bit. This is not something I normally like, but it does go well as a demo su subject for my work. So I do my demos and these dolls are really quite nice objects to demo with. Um, however much I hated them as a kid, uh, my parents used to try and feminise me because I'm basically what would class be classified not as a trans but as a gender non-conforming, which means I don't conform to the norms of of the female gen gender and yeah I'm, I'm basically a, f a gender non-conformer um, so I don't typically like a lot of girls things like dolls and makeup and shit so I just I just like to I like uh, male type things masculine things like uh, electronics and physics and shit like that. These are the kinds of things I'm interested in. And photocopiers, as a technician, I wanted to be a photocopier technician. And yeah, I just like that. I just like being one of the boys, as well. Uh, but I, I'm not. I'm not a transgender, uh, even though sometimes it looks like I am. Uh, but that's all right, you know, that's un un understandable if people think that. Uh, but I don't suffer from, I don't typically suffer. The only time, the only thing I find I hate about being female is that I feel I have to, I actually do experience to some extent some sort of gender-like, gender dysphoria-like symptoms, like... If I'm not going to get married, I hate my female parts, like my breasts. I hate them. Whereas if I get married, that sensation will disappear and I'll feel comfortable in my own skin and I'll enjoy my feminine parts. Uh, that's pretty much a bit strange. Uh, I didn't mention that in the last time I spoke about it. But generally speaking, I don't. I'm happy to be called female. I'm happy to be to be given the pronoun pronoun she. I don't suffer from uh, typical dysphoric symptoms, except the one I mentioned about my body and about lack. If I'm not going to get married, if I knew I was never going to get married, I would like to have my breasts cut off and made into a flat chest. And also, um, but the thing is, I don't feel like I want to actually be a bloke. I just want to be a flat-chested female. It's mainly the breasts and the periods that I have problems with uh, in the situation where I'm not going to get married in the scenario. Uh, but I don't want an artificial penis and I don't want um, testosterone, um, testosterone uh, dosing. dosing. I don't want to be given testosterone injections, so I'm not quite transgender. Uh, even though I do experience a slight dysphoria-like feeling regarding my 
breasts and my periods, uh, I don't actually suffer the full brunt of it. So I don't. So I'm not actually a transgender, from what I can tell. Uh, but I can understand. That gives me an understanding uh, of how it must feel to be truly dysphoric, because uh, I'm not. I don't think it's real. I think I am mainly. Oh, it's confusing, folks. It's really confusing. Uh, I'm not actually dysphoric, uh, except for the breasts and the periods, if I'm not going to get married. But I'm going to get married, so I don't want to get rid of those parts of me that are female, because I'll, I'll lose that sense of uh, une unease once I get married, or once I'm with my partner, Luigi who I'm going to marry hopefully soon. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I know, I've got a taste of this dysphoria, uh, but I'm not actually trans. If I was trans, I'd want, I'd want the injections and the, um, and, and the, and perhaps to be, go under the knife uh, to get a penis fashioned, an artificial penis. Uh, I assume that's what happens to them, to females that don't want to be females, so that they, yeah, but you know, it's not an easy world we live in, folks, it's a very tough world, and it's very, and I can see it's difficult, I, and another thing is, I don't want to go to a male toilet either, and that's a difficult thing that people with trans, who are transsexual face, is the issue of going to the toilet. Where do you go? You know, it's like, fuck. Uh, so I'm really grateful that I'm not actually in the in the boat of being a trans, even though I've had, like, I've got some aspects that might uh, res that resemble it strongly. And it gives me a way of understanding how real trans people must feel. It gives me an understanding. It doesn't mean that I have a full lived in experience only you only you people with transgender who are truly transgender would know how fucking hard it would be to live as a trans especially when using toilets uh i wouldn't know i'm not that unfortunate to have, have that experience uh but what can i say it's not an easy world we live in, uh, we don't live in an easy world at all now, folks. There's all sorts of shit going around and uh, so many people that are misunderstanding of less average people, you know, people who've got their diverse people. So, yeah, I, I, I've got a taste of this transgender stuff, but I'm not actually fully qualified to to uh, to know to actually exp how should I put it? explain how it feels because I'm not quite that I'm not a, I'm not quite trans but I've had I just have some symptoms that some uh, resembling experience that I've got um, but basically because I'm not an actual trans well I, I can't fully quantify what it's like and shit like that it's up to you guys to to be a beacon to your own kind. Let's see how we go with this. See what our Barbie doll looks like. Uh, <laughs> so I'm wondering where the centre of this job is going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be there. But yeah, I just really, I'm just hoping that I've I've, exp I've shared something useful to those who need a bit of encouragement. Uh, so yeah, let's see how we go with this damn Barbie doll. <laughs> but they do make these do make good models for the photocopier, I must admit. Pity I don't see much of the hair in this picture. Just a little bit of her hair is in there. Nice coloured hair. I'll just put it there. I'm just going to give this doll away. I, I don't, I'm not a doll person as a general rule. Felt a bit strange handling dolls. Uh, it does feel a bit strange. 
because uh, I mean, as a girl, I just never liked dolls. I just liked cars and fucking boys stuff. My parents weren't terribly impressed with my. I hated dresses and and I, yeah, I just didn't like all that shit. I don't know why I, 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 I displayed dysphoria-like symptoms away from getting married and having sex. I don't know why I, I can't accept my body, uh, even though I'm not actually, generally speaking, dysphoric. Uh, I just don't know. That's a mystery, folks. I don't know if you trans people or maybe gender non-conforming people out there would be able to relate to my kind of uh, condition which is a bit odd but that doesn't mean it's wrong you know it doesn't mean that it's that I'm fucked as a person it's just yeah what can I say anyway there's our little Barbie doll I think now we can call this demo quits <laughs>